Man, this looks wild. This looks crazy. I don't know, but before we get into my opinion about this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help me out on my goal to more subscribers. Thank you for your continued support. Now, if you're confused about what you're seeing right here on the right of me, this is a photo of a Little League World Series that was on ESPN between two teams. And at some point in the game, I believe the ending of the game, if I'm correct, uh, some teammates took some stuffing from a doll and stuck it in a kid's hair. Now, you will wonder, like, why would this... Why is this important? Why are people outraged and pissed off on Twitter? Well, if as you can see in the photo, the teammates are white kids and they're taking what per is perceived to be cotton and sticking it in the head of a black kid. And the black kid doesn't look too happy about that. So a lot of people are like, yo, this is racist. Take the team off the TV, suspend them for however long. And I understand how this can be racially or look racially insensitive. I get it from the optics. Optics look that way. But for me, when it comes to certain things, it is important to have the context when it comes to a lot of things. There's some things that's just like blatantly like racist and there's no way that you can like it doesn't matter. It just is what it is. But when it comes to certain things, it's always best to get the context because sometimes when you look at something, it can seem one way and be something different. I'm not saying that that's, that's, case, that's the case here. I'm just saying that that may be the case. Like, I don't know if you guys remember those old AmeriQuest uh, commercials that don't judge too quickly. Like, I remember one of the commercials where... Uh, the boyfriend was like cooking dinner before his girlfriend got home and he was he was putting tomato sauce in this big old tall pot on like the left side of the kitchen. And on the right side, he turns around and he's like chopping tomatoes. And I think he's like trying to make her spaghetti. I didn't see any like noodles or anything, but that's neither here nor there. So as he's chopping the tomatoes, her cat, which is an all white cat, climbs up onto the counter, jumps on the pot where the tomato sauce is in and knocks it over. And there's tomato sauce all over the ground. So he turns around and he has a knife in his left hand. He picks up the cat out of the tomato sauce and lifts it up like this. And his girlfriend immediately walks into the door as he's holding the cat and the knife like this. And she's like, and, I, and uh, that's what I'm saying. In those situations, optically, it looks like he killed the cat. But with the context, that's not exactly what's going on here. So according to some articles that have came out, uh, the coaching staff and the officials are saying that this was not racially motivated at all. These kids just found some stuffing from an open doll and just stuck it into this kid's hair. And they wanted to add on top of that the fact that other kids had that done to them too at this Little League game as well. So they're like, you know, it can't be racially motivated or racially or whatever. It's just kids just being kids. And um, I understand that kids do some some weird stuff that doesn't make any sense. They don't care who they offend. They don't care what they do. And it doesn't absolve them. Some kids know exactly what they're doing. There are kids who know exactly what they're doing, but there are kids who do things without even thinking about who it affects. Like if you have a kid and you have a conversation about, let's say Miss Mary Black, right? We all know the name if you my age. And then all of a sudden we go to Miss Mary's Black's house and then this kid, uh, Miss Mary Max, sorry, Miss Mary Max's house. And then this kid walks up to her and says, um, my mom and dad said that, um, your husband left you because you can't cook, you can't clean, and 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 you have a bunion on your sixth toe on your right foot, and you got roaches. Like kids don't they don't care. They just say whatever they have to say. They just repeat things, and that could be the case right here. But regardless if it's racially motivated or not, if this little league team cares about defending itself and not looking crazy, unless they're one of those people who are like, I said what I said, it is what it is. I don't have to do nothing else. That may not be a good idea, but there are some people who are like that. But if they do care about what people think about their club, what they will have to do for one is produce some of those photos of the other kids that they said got, you know, stuffing put in their hair. There's cameras anywhere, everywhere. We're talking about an ESPN Little League World Series game. There's no way that you can't have photos for the other kids. That's the easiest thing you can do. And for two, the thing that you have to do on top of that is to let the kids know and everybody involved in the club, like, hey, we cannot do this again because if you do it again, it looks like you double down on it and you don't care about how people look at your club. And again, there are some people who don't care. They're like, I don't care what people think. We're going to do what we want to do. The kids are just having fun. We're going to do it. But for me, at the end of the day, I would like to know why. Is this a tradition? Is this something that they always do? Or did the kids just do it in the moment out of nowhere? I, I think that's important too. But again, we need these photos and we need them to let the club know we cannot do this again. But what do you guys think about this whole situation? Do you guys think it's racist? Do you think it's not? Let me know in the comment section. Please, people, let's keep it clean. Let's keep it clean. All right. Let's respect each other. All right. We're family on this channel. Okay. Salute. Peace. Have an amazing day. <laughs>